Okay, and we're back. All right, let's go figure out what we're gonna do. Uh, let's get some of these knocked off. Uh, oh, let's definitely get that knocked off. The cheesy ones first. Uh, first contact. Okay. Yeah, let's get Laredo Caper done. I think that's the last of the little missions. And then we start on the bigger ones. Grab the rebut robotic skill and the EM ship weapon skill. Hopefully I don't cut my throat. <laughs> well, with what I've got tagged in the combat tree, we need 11 points. So now we're down to 12 available. But I haven't even started on lasers yet. Uh-oh. Okay, let's get this done. That is tagged, right? Yeah, it's tagged. All right, cool. You know I went to chef school? I heard Mr. Wright's gonna be looking for an apprentice. Hey, kiddo. I'm Annie Wilcox. <laughs> You're new in town, aren't you? Yes, sir. That means I'm going to keep my eye on you. Okay. <laughs> Is it? Or are you just saying that? I say that to every See, grown up. <laughs> I work for the Freestar Rangers. I'm the first ever Ranger Surveillance Assistant. Mm -hmm. And that's not some dumb made up title. Ranger Emma Wilcox gave it to me. So it's official. It sure is. I'm the best ranger surveillance assistant that ever lived. Uh -huh. Someday, I'll teach other kids the tricks of the trade. Gotta prepare the next generation, cause I won't be here forever. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna be a law-abiding citizen? Or are you gonna be on my list? Oh, I don't wanna be on no list. That's the right answer. <laughs> I just hope you mean it. Aquila City is just crawling with crime. It's everywhere. Everywhere? And it's up to us rangers to do something about it. Okay. And ranger surveillance assistance. Someone's stealing guns and stuff from Laredo Arms. Mm -hmm. And none of the adults believe us. So we're hoping, you know, you can help us break it all open. Sure, you betcha. Emily was right about you. I was doing my ranger patrol one night. And there was a suspicious character casing Laredo arms. Mm -hmm. I watched him as long as I could, but I had to rush home for bedtime. First thing in the morning, I came back and interrogated Justin Sneed. And he said they were tracking down an inventory discrepancy. I told him about the suspicious stranger, but Mr. Sneed didn't believe me. Mm -hmm. Exactly! This case was too big for just one ranger, so I deputized Emily. I'm an assistant ranger surveillance assistant. <laughs> or, um, something, something like, that. like that. And we found out that the thief breaks in most nights, but like, really late. He's got his own key card. We just need to catch him. Security will believe you. Sure, you betcha. You're doing Aquila City a big service. Best I figure, he's there around midnight. You need to wait for him to exit Laredo, then catch him red-handed. We need to bring him to justice. Mm -hmm. Man, what time is it yet? Oh, man. 
1614. Uh, nowhere to sit down anywhere. Oh, well, I, I'm definitely lost already. It's funny because a guy comes from across here. That way, either. So, how are you? Everything good? You're doing okay. Aha! A bank you cannot sit at. How convenient! Benches only hold one person in this game. Really? <laughs> okay. Just. Yes. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, yeah, alright, worst comes to worst, we gotta load the auto save from when we landed. How did you catch me? What? Uh, shit. Uh -huh. I, uh, uh -huh. yeah? Yeah. I, I won't. Oh, God. This can be happening. You are the worst criminal ever. Oh, God. Ever. No. Security. Everyone, don't move. <laughs> don't anybody move. Let's see. If it ain't the hero of Galbank. Mm -hmm. And who do we have here? Looks like you're carrying a lot of weapons for a nighttime stroll. I... I... Hell, I give up. Smart move. I got a tip something was going down tonight. Mm -hmm. Was little Annie actually right about all this? Yes, sir. I kind of always thought she was a pest. But now... You'll never hear I got her from it. here. Aquila City owes you again. Uh -huh. And, uh, thank Annie for me. Dear God, she's never gonna let us hear the end of this. Nope. That is the worst criminal ever. Okay. And of course, by now she's inside doing homework at midnight. I'll never learn my way around. Been a pretty good year overall. We okay. Did I ever take one of their missions? I remember. Well, obviously not. Uh. Oh. Well, hey there. You got potential. Did you catch the Just thief? Need to see a little Tell more. me it worked. Oh, it sure did. Annie, what are you doing up? It's way past your bedtime. Mom, I have to know. <laughs> You've got him, right? Right? Mm-hmm. Your hunch was right, yep. I knew it! Annie L. Wilcox, what did you do? I, I told you about it. You know the Laredo robberies? Well, we caught the thief. Wait, so that's real? Of yeah. course, Mom. 
I told you. I, uh, she's telling the truth. You're not pulling my leg, right? No, and you're supposed to be wearing a badge. I, oh boy. I, Annie, we'll talk more about this later. But I'm proud of you. But you've got to be careful. Yes, Mom. I'm going to be the best ranger surveillance assistant ever. Thank you for helping my girl and anything else involved. Take this. Lord, preserve me. I'm always <laughs> watching. The rangers will find all the bad people. That's right. And we put them six feet under, Hiya. usually. Okay. Uh... Okay, I haven't completed a thing. I was actually afraid of that for a second. Okay, next one we can do is... Let's do this one. Because it's super cheesy. And ends pretty quick. And we have the money. Or the speech craft. Or both. To pull it off. Yep, work your way up from the bottom. Okay, security office. It may be paradise, but that doesn't mean we don't run into trouble from time to time. No, oh, I'm sure about that. Hey, brother. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sukiyama at your service. Mm -hmm. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Sure, you're better. Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. They're aliens. They come to abduct your tourists. It is. Whatever's going on, we need to approach this with care. First, see if you have more luck communicating with them. If not, you may have to try boarding. Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who or whatever's on board. Uh -huh. As soon as you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him, and he'll have your pay. Good awesome. luck. You sure, Retta. And I'm guessing I came in the wrong door. Ran right past it. Okie dokie. Hi. Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the re- Uh huh. Class A engines on a Class C ship. That. <laughs> All right. I need to get some better engines. Ah. Uh.
it's even worse than last time. Aliens, I'm telling you. They come to eat your faces off. Greetings, Captain. Capture a couple of them, put them in the Stay cargo alert. bay. Weapons at the ready. You're human. I am. Really? Oh, clearly, you're not. You're obviously human, but how are you here? By magic. We didn't know any others left Earth. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. Orca Dorka. Some sort of huge favorite. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200 year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by... Well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others. <laughs> Oh yes, of course. Where are my manners? Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Oh boy. Dr. DaCosta, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. Oh, I will go. follow you to the bridge, ma'am. For security purposes. I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. <laughs> Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios. Climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction-level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was destined ship. to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. So, he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. Never seen a ship like yours before. Then again, I haven't seen any ships before you arrived. Uh -huh. Now that we know what's out there, things are going to be more interesting. Oh, so, okay. here we are. Let's talk. Uh-huh. I clicked. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. You think so, do you? Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? I can be bribed. What the <laughs> okay. Ah, so they have a name. Paradiso. And it sounds promising that they sent you here to speak with us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assume that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. <laughs> Excellent. Make no mistake, this is our planet, and we intend for them to see this our way. Oh, so, boy. speak with their leadership and see if you can negotiate a solution on our behalf. Preferably, get them to see things our way. Report back to me and let me know what they say, and we'll go from there. Okie dokie. Now, now, it makes little sense to give up before you try. Thank you, and good luck. 
<laughs> Good luck. Okie dokie. Careful waving that fancy gun around. Does it look like I'm waving it? Uh, it was. It we was. were never trained to address threats coming from outside. This way. Yeah. I'm learning. Slowly. Yeah. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down trouble. Oh, believe me, it won't work to take down Troublemaker. <laughs> Where this ship disappears to, though. Uh, they still haven't fixed this ship. Well, the 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 quest for this ship. Don't know what the deal is. Maybe you're supposed to blow it up or enslave them instead of helping them fix it. I, I don't know. I just think it's pretty cool to help them fix it and let them go about their merry business. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days. Yep, they're everywhere. Excuse me. <laughs> Executive floor. Awesome. I hope your stay here is going Excuse well. me. You can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Oh, I'm pretty sure I have an appointment. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? No. Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry. Even they call it that. Uh -huh. No major incidents in a while. Uh, Let's hope it stays okay, that way. Where was I headed? Oh, right. There. Okay. I just feel that we should be focusing Whoa. on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. Mm. There are millions of planets out there. Yeah, People yeah, can yeah. Go to any one I'm of not them. like the other board members. The about. Are I am. And you them. must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Something welcome, like welcome. That. Normally, I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The yeah. team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. It's Come actually see a the really aliens. good idea. <laughs> it's actually a really good idea. Uh, but I guess that is... I think it's brilliant. Yeah, but people are never going to fall for that. Ah, we're being direct then. Good on you. So, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? Uh -huh. Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Yeah. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here, temporarily, but it'll cost them quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. Okay, let's fix their ship. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? 
I assume there's a captain? Yeah, there's a captain. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. Yes, sir, right. Betcha. On behalf of the Paradiso group, we appreciate your help. Yeah, let my camera go. Heck. <laughs> it's the Jeez. only thing we've... That is so annoying. Hope Tech. Is that where Hope Tech is? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right, I need to... Yeah, another planet to fully explore. Oh, I think I did that on... Yeah, I did. Welcome to Free Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. All right, that's it. Welcome to Hope Town. Riley, do you require really? I've assistance? never discovered this before. Ah, oh. Ron hopes that I have 15 weapons. Really, holy crap! Jeez. Best thing that happened to us. Oh. Ah, there's one I don't need. Sure, why not? I have all your credits. Okay. See you. How is mom? Oh, same as usual. Except now, all she does is goes on. I don't want to hear any complaints. Excuse me. Excuse me. A little desperate here. This is such a long shot. Oh, hey. Yeah. Poor I know Adela. Deep breath. <sighs> Looks like we're getting sidetracked. Oh, God. Okay. Right. Right. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. Uh -huh. You are sincerely the answer to my prayers. You think so? So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. It just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? <laughs> uh, not unless I was lighting a fuse myself. Nah, that never happened. Are you serious? Well, I, uh, <clears throat> it's gone bad for me. Okay. So, I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, 
And I've been running ever since. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know. I was just flying for my life. But some bad people want it. Okay. It gets even worse. Uh-huh. A tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. Uh-huh. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim you're Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? Sure. Sure, why not? You are the best. This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. If I shoot him, can I get his cowboy hat? <gasps> I really have been looking for a cowboy hat. Okay, slight sidetrack. Let's deal with this really quick. Uh, and what's the worst that could happen? We'll fail and have to shoot the poor guy. Hey, brother. Pardon. I'm new in town. I see that. You look like you just got here too, right? What's your name, stranger? Might buy you a drink. Mm -hmm. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markab? Mm -hmm. I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the drill. Uh huh. <laughs> So you didn't shoot your way off Neon Fahim? The bounty is pretty damn clear. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. Uh-huh. Maybe. Maybe not. The bounty is awfully large for what they're saying. All right, I'm not taking you in. Well, that just means somebody else will. They probably Whatever will. you were shipping, you got to return it. The next tracker probably won't be as upstanding as I am. <laughs> There's no way they're ever going to settle for that. <laughs> ah, sucks to be you. Uh -huh. One more drink and it's liftoff. Liftoff. Uh-huh. There's no... Payday is no always reason. a good day. If you need anything, Check just it. ask for me. Sal. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? Pit stops next order. That ain't what I'm looking for. Interesting. Okie dokie. I feel so Why did I ever take this job? Why? I feel like I can finally breathe again. Uh -huh. Thank you. That's just one tracker. You're right. I'll see what I can do. Uh -huh. You're a literal lifesaver. Take this. Better not be contraband. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, back to our Keep mission. an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. hello. That guy standing over there? He sure is, all right. We'd all right. be dust, except for the fact. But we got a mission to take care of first. So there's a couple missions here on this. Ball the planet, uh, keep ducky. Off worlders, nothing good ever comes from them. Make sure there's a lot of fuel tanks on that. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, Hope Tech needs brave new innovations. Sure, that sounds like me. What can I do for you? I'm a little busy, but uh, I think I could spare some time. Uh-huh. 
Oh, you should have just said that. Of I course I can help that. you. Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. Uh -huh. So grab drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. But I've got access to an ancient grav drive that looks like it could be compatible. With some minor adjustments. It's in good shape, too. Uh -huh. Parts not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor, and it's yours. <laughs> It's a pretty big ask, given how rare these old grad drives are. Really? True. I keep telling myself I'm holding on to it for the right time. Perhaps this is that right time. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not sure oh, I'm not, crap. but I do know that I can't base my decisions off a concept that may or may not exist. Oh, okay. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. <laughs> Maybe we can work something out. Tell you what. Sounds like this is for a good cause. While I can't give you the part for free, I won't charge you for the work. Sure, why not? You're done, right it is. I'll get to work on it right away. I recommend you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Pleasure working sure. with you. Better. All right. Hello. Hello. Now let's see if we can not get busted hauling contraband really quick. You ever check out the prices at Trident? <laughs> you could buy like a complete <laughs> Seems how I don't exactly have an after follower. I can get Just away keep with it. Holstered and we'll get along fine. Right, it's holstered. Hey buddy. Ma says we might get a ball one day. I like it here. Very few rules, people know how to look the other way. Mm -hmm. And so many strangers coming and going all the time. A good place for business. Do you agree? Sure. Discretion is a trait I highly value. I have a small package that needs delivery to Aquila City. Mm -hmm. I need someone discreet. Not too many questions. Sure. No problem. The package is contraband. If the authorities find it, it will not be good. Mm -hmm. If your ship has space for special cargo, then getting through security will be much easier. Can you handle a job like this? I sure can. Deliver the package to Tom Sterrett. Just drop it off. No discussion, no questions. Do not get caught. Goodbye. <laughs> I guess we better quick save after we load this in the cargo bay. Otherwise, we might not get paid. <laughs> Workers like to play hard here. Ron Hope's a damn hero. How can I be of service, Captain? Oh, just help me fly a straight line, Vasco.
<laughs> Okie dokie, let's get over there. Might take more than once. Might, from what I understand, it depends on how empty or not your cargo bay is. Uh, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, we're going to Cheyenne. Okay. <laughs> Maxed out payload skill. And all the Welcome good to the stuff. Free Star Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. And that's it. Enjoy that Aquila. You sure betcha. Has to evade 89, so I'm a little heavier than I need to be, I guess. I thought about pulling the resources out of the cargo bay, just putting them in my pocket for this trip. But then I'll forget that they're in my pocket. That's... Weird, all right. Uh, oh, okay. Let's see who this guy is. That's so crooked. The trade authority is guy, there any type maybe? of weapon combat. Keep it moving. Really? That only goes higher up. Aha. Yep, sure is. Hey there. Ah, so you're the delivery person. Well, here's your payment. Oh, no. This never happened. Of course not. All right. Uh, yep, lost again. Oh, oh this way. All right, we found our way out. I think. Yeah. Huh. Welcome to Aquila City. I'm pretty sure we made a profit on that mission. But I'm only pretty sure. Hello, Captain. Hello. Back to our normally scheduled program.
<laughs> All right, let's see how long it takes me to figure this jigsaw Captain puzzle Riley. out this time. Hello, I am satisfied to see that you. Um, just stay out of trouble. I'm out of trouble. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict for a reason. Never seen a ship like yours before. And then again, I haven't seen any ships before you arrived. That's true. Engineering, okay. Okay, dokie. Hey, buddy. People always appreciate the good engineer, uh -huh. whether they know it or not. <laughs> I was hoping to talk to our visitor from outer space, and here you are. Welcome, welcome. I have a million burning questions, but I won't overwhelm you. There will be plenty of time for that later. Please, indulge me just a couple. How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover faster than light travel and eclipse our poor old ship? Oh, yeah, and then so. Oh, I've heard of this technology, but always believed it was theoretical in nature. Maybe we can talk about it in more detail later. I'm sure you have more pressing matters to handle. I've waited this long. What's a little longer, eh? Uh -huh. Oh, I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. Chief Engineer Kazemi, but you can call me Amin. And I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. You're the reason they broke down out here? <laughs> yes, of course. Anything for my new friend. What grab drive? <laughs> Just joking with you. The Paradiso engineers filled me in. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Hmm. All right. This will be fun. And hopefully there will be no explosions in the process. I have just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? Sure, you betcha. Sure, why not? You do? Well, this should be a bit easier. Though I must remind you, the ship is much older than the ones you're likely used to working on. So, listen to me first. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Then... Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Got it? Sure. Let's hop to it. This one is a flange pipe. Really? So if you have engineering... Okay, now 5%... Yeah, 5%. Holy cow. Okay. Is that level one or how oh, I want to try this out on another character? Looks like everything is good to go, both your end and mine. Uh, can you go and inform the captain while they're finishing the installation? Thanks. Oh, I go to the captain now, huh? We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down troublemakers. 
characters. I guess we were already here. We got strict rules around here, but they're strict for a reason. Say what? The Constant is a peaceful ship. Don't oh, change that. Hey, kid. No matter the outcome, I won't let my. <laughs> well, well. It would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. Mm -hmm. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Thank you again for all you've done. You sure betcha. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck. But you went above and beyond. You have no I'll make sure idea. people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. Name's I don't know Basco. if we can ever fully repay <laughs> you. Thank you again. You sure betcha. 45 caliber. Oh, wow. All right, cool. Uh, Careful waving that fancy gun around. We don't way. need to see what it can do. I'm not waving anything around. Now that we know what's out there, just being dicks. things are going to be more interesting. Now that we know there are other people out there, we need to be more prepared. I wonder what it's like out there, beyond our little community. Ah, uh, flying birds that'll eat your face off. Don't shoot at them. Wonderful little puppy dogs called Terramorphs. <laughs> and heat leeches. Lots and lots of heat leeches. Oh, yeah, I got to report back to Paradiso, huh? I think. Hell. Really? Uh... What mission's active? Okay. So we are going to go to that one next. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, let's do that one next. All right, we'll see you in the next video.